Hello. Hello. John. Hey guys, how's it going? What's up? Great. Oh, this is fun. Thanks to all of you for joining me. Uh huh. On this Sunday so afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I have to say, um, your debut single, Far. Um, it's. I have to say, it's very impressive for a debut single. Um, I love yeah. everything about it. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah, the, especially the music breakdown in the middle that kind of leads to the guitar solo. Mm -hmm. I, right. I love that. <laughs> yeah, that was um, we just uh, we all we all kind of kind of uh, put our heads together and you know that's a very Led Zeppelin kind of influence, you know. So that's um, it's really it's really cool. It's very uh, creative. Mm -hmm. that's, you know, I, yeah, I like it. That's how we've been doing it live, and we were actually going to think about changing it for the album, but then we're like, no, we're just going to leave it and do it like do live. Yeah. Yeah, right. I love it. <laughs> and how was it working with uh, Kevin Elfman on on your upcoming album? Uh, it's been Kevin very Elfman. cool. <laughs> yeah, he's so, awesome. His uh, musical mind is just very, um, you know, he just got, he's just one of those guys who's just got so much experience. And uh, just to be in the same room with him talking about music is just so, mm -hmm. just educational. I mean, uh, you could just feel the inspiration and, um, so he just uh he really helped us and it's kind of uh you know like almost like a just it's like a god of audio you know, kind of. yeah definitely <laughs> something that's cool for us yeah. something cool for us is that he's he's from jacksonville originally and you right. know, back like working with skinner back in the original days he's got this long history of music in jacksonville so it, it feels cool to be connected to kind of the lineage that that comes from our town and you know, hopefully right. do our best to follow the footsteps of of that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's cool that he was around in our town back then. And, you know, he's he's got that experience and knows what that was like. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. And that knowledge is, is useful for us, you know. It's got a lot of uh, ways. Plus producing some of, like, at least our favorite songs, too. Yeah. Um, it's kind of crazy to hear kind of just all the stuff that he's done on the radio with the journey stuff yeah. and, um, you know stuff like that and, and uh, to know that he was here you know 40 years ago doing the same thing trying to get his you know footsteps and and uh trying to do the same thing we're doing you know and, and um it's kind of weird it's kind of like an oxymoron like he's 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 here right now but he was here years ago doing the same thing you know so it's it's just um you know like after after the skinner plane crash went down mm -hmm. he uh he uh, recovered. He started working with Van Morrison um, around '78, and then he he uh, he did uh, all the Journey stuff, which is really cool. You know, "Don't Stop Believing" and all those big hits. Journey, uh, you know, Kevin did all that stuff, and, and I actually did the final countdown with Europe. Um, he did some of the missed. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, he just. I'm just trying to think of all the stuff he's done. Mr. Big. Yeah, Mr. Big. Yeah, and um, did he do um, "Be With You." Like their hit yeah. song, yeah. Oh, so he was like the one all that, the major uh, hits. <laughs> yeah, he was the one that came up with that arrangement. Actually, he uh, it was his idea to kind of throw it in last, and they all thought it was a crap song. And he was like, "No, like absolutely not." So <laughs> it's a uh, it's pretty cool. You know, he's a he's got a very magical mind when it comes to you know just music in general. And then from a production and engineering side, he's a wizard. You know, he's he's able to do things and see things in a completely different light than everybody else, which I think is what makes him, you know, and has given him all the merit that he's gained over his entire career. So for us to be in literally our first steps of, you know, having recordings done, having music out there for people to hear, for him to be involved in that is honestly the biggest kind of blessing on a musician side. So it's, it's been a real treat to get to work with him and to just, you know, listen to everything he has to say. Yeah. Yeah, um, some people just have, you know, like a bright glowing gem and like on their forehead that, uh, you know, and like Kevin is one of those guys, you know, like he's, he's he, like he can see and hear things that, you know, like he could look at you and tell you this and tell you that, you know, and like he, he's just like a, just an amazing musical mind, you know, yeah. and uh, it's just a pleasure for us. No, I was going to say, that must be really exciting that you guys have been around for a year or so, and all this is happening for you. 
Oh yeah. Because me and you got together and started working on songs and stuff, and then back almost exactly well, you know, and then almost exactly a year ago we found Christian, and right. then we added John a mm-hmm. couple like a month later. Yeah, we um, uh, there's always been some ideas flowing and stuff, mm-hmm. and um, I've always wanted a four piece, and uh, Mel and I got together, we started working on some, you know, arrangement stuff and um i was like man you know like it would be cool if we just had a because one of my biggest influences was the band free you know just a a nice kind of raw stripped down four piece Mm -hmm. and uh christian powers you know like i was like man you know like i seen this guy jam you know a while back at this uh, blues club and and um i was like man his his voice would be just phenomenal i mean there's no one in town really that that it can deliver like a christian you know and then um it's true we on in you know because john's just a musical wizard of you know just <laughs> like, so, i mean his musical mind is just so, so it all kind of so like all so you have the four elements everyone just kind of you know it's just magical you know mm-hmm. it's just one of those things you can't really explain you know like everyone got together and you know started pumping out these ideas and uh you know like here we are now so yeah. it's it's just all about the music and and the ideas keep flowing good with with uh, everyone in the band, and mm-hmm. and uh, everyone is just so healthy as far as you know contributing good ideas. I mean, you write like a new song every rehearsal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, you know, very healthy uh, creative flow. In the car. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My gig got canceled, and then I got a call to go pick up one of my guitars that was getting worked on. So now I am parked, <laughs> but I was driving. <laughs> what kind of guitar is it? It's a it's a 1978 uh, Epiphone 335. It's an old uh, an old yeah. Epiphone. Just getting some work done on it, but but yeah. So it's a it's been a, a pleasure to work with the three all four of us. You know, together. It's been crazy. It's one of those bands you don't have to really think about anything. We just get mm-hmm. together and just write. And it's it's I don't know. I've never been in a band where everything is like as thoughtless as it is in this band the process it's like a machine on its own it just runs and there's no you know like the chemistry is good yeah right i mean it's normally i feel like there's quite a bit i mean there is i'm not you know understating it there's definitely a lot of work we're putting in a ton of work but when it comes to the music for us it's like i don't know buddy's always got a new lick to play and then him and mel get together so they've got the solid foundation of a song essentially John can play anything if he hears it once. So then as long as everybody's there in the same room, I'll write the lyrics on spot and we just kind of run with it. And it's worked this far. So we're just going to keep rolling with it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know. as, as someone who's been in a ton of bands, this one has like, this band has the very rare quality of everything just happening very easily and feeling oh, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't feel like we have to overthink anything. I mean, we do work hard, like Christian said, but yeah. like, it always feels like things kind of happen smoothly when they need to. And we're, you know, we're not banging our head against a wall or anything. Like it's, it's, it's been moving along nicely and we have good group chemistry and it's, yeah. it's rare. Most of the bands I've been in aren't, aren't like that. So I'm, I'm and, grateful for it. And, and uh, to add what uh, John just said, it's, it's, um, it's a rare thing to have, a band of uh, musicians get together in the same room being creative and everyone being confident in their ideas and their, you know, like everyone has to pull their weight. Everyone, you know, provides, you know, bring something to the table to create this product, you know, uh, within a song, you know, whether it's, a, you know, a song or idea about this or this or that, you know, and um, it's really cool that everyone in the band is just super confident in bringing in their own, you know, creative process, you know, that, 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 that really is, is, is something that impresses me, you know, that everyone, everyone stands on their own very well, you know, and like, and when we come in, it's, it's just super, uh, it's like water, you know, like every, like the songs just flow. I mean, like every time we rehearse, I mean, we get about a song and a half written and, uh, you know, about three or four different ideas, you know, to work on. So even like yesterday, right. So, you know, like in this band, we're always thinking, you know, 10 steps ahead, you know, and, and uh, and focusing on what really matters the most, you know, some music. So, Absolutely. And yeah. <laughs> and um, how many songs will be on Close to the Sun? Eight. Yep, yeah, there'll be eight tunes on that one. Oh, nice. Yep. And how would you um, kind of de- describe the album without 
giving too much information away. Uh, oh. Who wants this one? <laughs> <laughs> a couple heavier, um, like Don't Shoot, and then we have the the title track close to the sun which is my personal favorite so there's a couple heavy ones and then there's a there's a ballad on there that is really it's a really beautiful um ballad i know my that's my mother's favorite song on, on the album is the ballad <laughs> oh but i'm not on that's the one you like mom thanks <laughs> yeah but, <laughs> but no I, I think and it all the songs flow nicely to one so when you're listening it's more like an experience so one right. song flows mm -hmm. after another but yeah. There's there's some heavier songs and you have the ballad and I think that um there there's so many good tunes like even though I know we wrote them but I enjoy listening listening to them myself so mm -hmm. that's uh so you know my my opinion is that you know on this album that you know like everyone comes in with these ideas you know and like you know I think everyone has a certain way that they you know perceive it in their mind and um, it just comes out different but you know like it's 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 just an um the uh, the in i mean you can just hear the influences uh you know like there, there's uh, there's some hendrix influences or some you know there's there's some grunge uh rock influences there's some you know the ballad is just a very uh there's some like fusion influence yeah you know there's yeah. just a funky rock and roll there's there's a uh, stripped down 70s rock there's uh there's you know uh, like i said there's some grunge you know, this album is very just, um, you know, I, I wanted an acoustic one on there, you know, and we really didn't have it written. And so we went in this, uh, our, you know, like engineer, um, Jim DeVito said, hey, you know, uh, you guys wrapping it up, you know, I was like, hey, Jim, I have this idea. It's not really written yet. Can we can we try to write it out real quick? And, and uh, he goes, yeah, man, I'm going to go make some coffee and, and uh, you guys just go ahead and finish it. And so it was written in 10 minutes. It was just me and uh, Christian, you know, like one acoustic guitar. And um, so, you know, that's just the kind of band we are. We're just really confident in, you know, providing our ideas. And, uh, you know, and um, they're never, ever going to come out exactly the way you want them because there's so many different influences between all the four of us that, you know, you just have to believe in, you know, the, the uh, you know, like what comes out of the, uh, of the other end. So, so this, uh, this album for me is a good rock and roll, you know, a mixture of... Um, yeah, it's a good debut album. It's definitely rock and roll. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've been kind of describing it as like primarily, it's primarily, it's largely vintage sounding, like a 70s sound, but it has a lot of elements of the stuff that we grew up with. So, yeah. It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of like 70s rock seasoned with like 90s and 2000s rock sprinkled on top. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's, it doesn't, yeah, sound, I feel that music yeah. in this, yeah, a record from the 70s wouldn't, sound the same because we kind of we're still steered by like you know the stuff from when we grew up and some more yeah. modern influences so it's kind of like a combination of vintage and modern exactly plus i think our yeah. own styles yeah you know and and uh some of this like i said you can have a you know an idea in your head and try to go full steam ahead with that but it's going to come out it's you know it's not going to come out i don't care how hard you try it it's always going to come out sounding, you know, different than what you expect. Or, you know, sometimes you can get close and sometimes this and that, you know. Um, but but it's just, um, it's super original. It's super, it's like a vintage modern thing, like John said. It's, 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 it's very, it's very fresh. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not like something you're going to throw on and go, okay, yeah, well, you know, I've heard the, I mean, you know, but it's um, super traditional, but very fresh at the same time, which is actually something that, um, I personally just enjoy that, you know. So it's it's just super uh, super vintage but fresh. Right, and, uh, I yeah, you know that's just the best way that I can explain it, you know. So it's just super original. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> it's the release date uh, next month um, in March. March first. Yeah, it'll be March first. Oh, perfect. Right. Yep. Yeah, March first is the debut for the record, and uh, and uh, we got we got what one more single. I think yeah so. we'll have yeah we're gonna have that going out the 15th and that's pretty special too because it's it'll be the third single but there we're also going to be releasing it um in dolby atmos which is something that is very new um apple music 
obviously they do like their lossless um, through their subscription. You can hear the lossless files, which is yep. higher quality streaming. Um, but they're also starting to incorporate Dolby Atmos, which is the newest form of um, integrated, what do they call it? Spatial audio. Hmm. So yeah, it's a, it's pretty cool. And we're, I want to say we're one of the newer, one of the first like post I don't know, classic bands. They're doing a lot of remasters and things to get these old school classic albums um, done in Atmos. But I want to say that we're probably one of the handful that will be actually debuting something in Atmos. Like I want to say one of probably five groups that have like a brand new song that's going to be debuted that way. So it's pretty awesome. special. Um, something that we're pretty excited about to see, you know, get some quality feedback and see what uh, what people think about it. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, we were we were actually mixing. We were in the process of mixing this record, and uh, Kevin, um, you know, and a good and um, you know, we uh, we sat down and, and uh, we were listening to um, uh, Killer Queen, you know, the the uh, the, uh, the Queen song, and, and uh, we were you know just like listening to how it works, and it's just crazy. So to yeah, have they that, did, they did a brand new like Atmos version of it, right? Like. The background vocals are like flying out of the back corner, and other stuff is like up at the top. It's it's yeah. crazy. They re rearrange everything in space. Right. Yeah. Did we like hear an uh, Adobe Atmos song in, in the car one time? You could hear like it go around the speakers. Right. Well, so yeah, it's crazy. It's something to do with um, you know, I, I think a uh, surround sound is mm -hmm. uh, four dimensional, but um, I think s s spatial audio is is I think it's like eight dimensional mm -hmm. to where it's 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 uh there's like different angles you know coming at you like um it's like it's like a concert experience right it concert. sounds like a car driving by or you know like the like the sound is physically getting bigger in front of you and, yes. and then kind of being far away or it sounds like it's in a cave and then you know or it's like coming you know at you from you know behind a rock or something yeah, yeah so <laughs> that's um that you know and that eventually will will be the new audio of uh of the new age um uh pretty soon so that's you know it's really cool to have our single done in that you know kind of yeah the christian's right i think i think we are probably one of the first bands to have a um you know to, to be to be uh mixed in that you know so that's um it's really cool it's really new it's really cool oh, wow i can't wait to check that out because that seems oh, like yeah. a, a fun listening experience oh yeah oh, yeah for sure yeah it's um it's definitely something that you know it's um kind of a uh it's more of an experience you know like an audio experience than um you know like it's supposed to give the listener a physical kind of response to the music mm -hmm. so that's that's um just something that i you know like i could going into the like i just never imagined you know like and that's the cool thing about this band is that you know like everyone contributes so much musically that these cool opportunities you know are coming from just a lot of hard work and uh you know there's just a lot of stuff that i just never experienced that you know like i and i never thought would have experience to you know um but when it comes to these you know, i'm just i'm just a great dog it was that that popped on my i know you guys opened for blacktop mojo and they're one of my current favorite bands uh, how was that experience working or like um sharing the stage with them well they're well we we enjoy their music as well which was great and um they're just the nicest guys like before before we played with them I befriended them on Instagram and they were just the nicest you know guys and they really enjoyed the music and we really enjoyed their music and um yeah no we we love Blacktop Mojo we think they're great for sure oh yeah yeah we ended up doing two shows because we were just booked on one and then in Jacksonville in our hometown and then the next day I think they're in Orlando and one of the opening bands dropped and they called us back up to to come back from the the previous day and fill in for the opening bands so we got to play twice and hit a new market and stuff so it, was, it was awesome mm -hmm. yeah that was like a blessing too because that was when the we got hooked up with our PR company because of that show the uh the road manager ended up videoing a bit of our set um, and he was like, these guys really like you. Like they normally are pretty picky about music. So it was, that was kind of the snowball effect for us. Um, pretty, pretty cool sequence of events there. So we definitely, um, we still keep in touch with them. They're really, really awesome guys. And, uh, we owe them, you know, quite a bit for that. That was a, definitely a good nudge in our direction for sure. Yeah, no, they're, they're awesome. They, uh, the, uh, the bass player, Cat actually, uh, when we played our show here in Jack's, um, 
bought uh, bought our t-shirt, you know, and was wearing it around. Just super, very humble, sweet guy. Very, very good band. Mm-hmm. Very, yeah. Great. yeah. Yeah. They're, they're great guys. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I want um, to ask you, um, before we sign off, um, what else people can be on the lookout for? I think mm-hmm. our shows. Yeah, yeah we, definitely shows. Um, yeah. We have a show on the 18th here in Jacksonville at uh, Jack Rabbits. And, and we got um, a show on February 26th in Orlando at A Sound Garden. Yeah. Yeah. The venue is called A Sound Garden. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, but it's also called Hanau, right? Hanau. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The, yeah. The Hanau Contemporary Center. I can't pronounce that. So mm-hmm. I'm just going to A Sound Garden. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 We're trying to definitely branch out and get some. I was actually talking to Austin uh, from Blacktop. Uh, the road manager and he was like yeah whatever you guys can do to get out of town you know we want you you know if we can put you on some shows we will so we're definitely in the process of booking more regional like southeast or beyond um shows as soon as the album drops we're really going to push to kind of get out of town hopefully um play some more cities and get in front of some more people and just grow you know grow the fan base more uh more experiences Oh, yeah. we'd, love awesome. we'd love to that'd be, be awesome yeah we got a good five or six shows coming up in the next like three months i think so i think if anybody checks out our, our social media instagram and stuff they'll all be on there so. yeah yeah, yeah. Nice a handful of dates coming up awesome. yeah yeah but um yeah we're just uh really really trying to nail nail down that you know that good true honest following yeah um trying to get you know just a lot of you know and people uh you know people inspired and people you know just a good true honest following mm-hmm. is all we need right now yep well, yeah. i think you guys are definitely on your way and i know um the new wave of classic rock movement i know their group has been sharing your song a lot so oh yeah yep. yeah snowballing yeah it's good fans in that group that have been yeah. uh, super fortunate yeah doing that which is nice and i think some some of the people that run the new wave classic rock have also been doing that. Um, yeah, and- they added us that playlist too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah we've uh, we've been uh, fortunate to be playlist, you know, uh, more than a couple times. Mm-hmm. So that's it's just super. You know, just keep the ball rolling. You know, good yeah. music and and um, so uh, trying to keep you know inspiring people. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm really excited to hear the rest of the album next month and um, hopefully see you guys in Boston sooner than later. Yeah. 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 <laughs> great. Well, awesome. thanks so much guys for taking some time to chat with me and yeah, that's the book with everything. Yeah. Thank awesome. you. Thank you so much.